Squawk, squawk, my fellow sorrowers. Right, you up for another crack now? Good, let's crack on. Hospital waiting lists for routine operations and treatments in England are now at a record high. More than 2 million people are having to wait over 18 weeks to be seen. And more than 18, three sixes, it's also for your number nine, the dragon, the female machine mummy mean. are having to wait for more than a year. The sharp rise in waiting time shows the heavy time. Okay, two and one's your three. Okay, so you've got your eight, your Ouroboros. I'm straight back to it. You also got your 33, okay, which is your sodomy. Oh, that the pandemic has had on the NHS. Yes, blacks are turning in the tyre, of course. Almost all non surgeon or non urgent surgery, like. <laughs> all non surgeon urgeries, eh? Okay. All right. Let's have it again. Wait for more than a year. The sharp rise in waiting time shows the heavy toll that the pandemic has had on the NHS. Almost all non-surgeon or non-urgent surgery, like hip and knee replacements, was stopped in March to make. Hmm. See, when they slip up, it's usually because they're trying to slip something in. Okay, without you noticing it. Keep that in mind. Keep that in heart. More space for coronavirus patients. But there has been some positive news, with more cancer patients now starting their treatment. Our health editor, Kipim, reports. Carol is a casualty of the COVID crisis. A year ago, she went on the list. <laughs> Hugh, mate, have you, have you turned into Dr. Fucking Zeus? What was that? <laughs> Cancer patients now starting their treatment. Our health editor, Hugh Pim, reports. Carol is a casualty of the COVID crisis. A year ago. Fucking hell. <laughs> wow. Okay. The reptilians are good at tongue twisters. I suppose it makes sense, really, doesn't it? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Carol is a casualty of the COVID crisis. A year ago, she went on the list for a knee replacement, but when the virus struck... <laughs> Favour the salty sex <laughs> that sears from the... From the sweat glands of the saviour. Come on. Come on now. Health editor, Hugh Pym reports. Carol is a casualty of the COVID crisis. <laughs> a year ago, she went on the list. Uh, when the virus struck, she was informed it had been postponed indefinitely. Now she's been told it won't be okay, till... You know, I'd be, I'd be twisting a lot more than their tongues puckered. Yeah. The pain is... When I walk, it's constant. The minute I start walking, I have quite a sharp pain in my knee. See, I'm trying not to make it boring for you all, because you've seen all this before. You've got your pink and your yellow flowers. You've got your black and white symbolism, which is just more Saturnian attire. And, of course, more CAs. <laughs> Sorry, one more time. I can't help it. One more. Cancer patients now start starting their... You see, Hugh Pin is a, um, a reptonite. He's a canotillion. Okay, it's probably the only way he can wrap his tongue around it. Our health editor, Hugh Pin reports. Carol is a casualty of the COVID crisis. A year ago, she <laughs> went on the list for a knee replacement. Oh, no. She was informed it had been postponed indefinitely. That's classic, that is. That's cracking. Oh, come on. <laughs> right, yeah, we've had a bit of you, haven't we? Yeah, apple, sodomy, of course, always. Frustrated. On behalf of everyone who's in the same situation, there are a lot of people. See the double cross as well. Showed us in the Kim Chow video. See that? On behalf of See the Saturn. who's in the same situation, there are... A lots and lots of people who they like get light switches in as well as lampshades or bulbs themselves just another shout to lisa for the light bearer okay false light are all waiting um and feeling the same way as i do seem a bit no you seem like you're feeling a bit happy about this because it's meant to be quite a sad thing right you know they do this because i think what happens 
I know what happens. You can sense it even through these scrying screens. They um they get a bit too proud, you know, a bit too flash. They get a bit too Oh, I can't believe I'm actually on television. Woo! You know what I mean? It's that that um integrated sense of once you're on telly, you're famous, you're a celebrity. It takes hold of organic portals. You can tell, you, you see it, right? And that's how you know. And that's how they let themselves go. Way too happy. Someone who's in the same situation. There are a lot and lots of people who are all waiting um, and feeling the same way as I do. Um, and we're all in a lot of pain. <laughs> you fucking look it, love. Yeah. The charity Bursets Arthritis said the latest figures were appalling. They show that in July in England, 2.15 million people... Yeah, we know, Mersh. Stop trying to fucking push your energised numerology on us. Seven. Of those 83,200 had waited more than a year. 21,600 <sighs> cancer patients... Triple six. Three and six. ...started treatment in July, which was higher than in May. <laughs> False light. <clears throat> were also cancelled in Scotland, Wales, and North. False light. Ireland, as the NHS focused on coronavirus patients. Uh, uh, what one am I going for, guys? Uh, <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I don't know about surgeon urgery, but they urgently need some better crisis actor surgeons. Watch Ireland, this. As the NHS focused that, on coronavirus. Uh, uh, d d d d d uh that one. Hospitals are trying to get things back on track. <laughs> but Luton...